Zizi chats to Poem Jaji, dancer and choreographer, about his life's journey. Tell us a bit about choreography. How did you start? How did your journey begin? Sure. I think for me, um, and as I think most choreographers can attest to this, I started off as a dancer first and foremost. Um, you know, I, I didn't even know, I think, for a big part of my, my life that I would end up as a choreographer one day. I knew that I loved dance expression and that I was sort of inclined that way. You know, I was the kid that always entertained the family. So it, it felt natural for me. And I think choreography just sort of fell along my path. You know, opportunities kept coming. I mean, Obviously, with every success story, there's the tough times and the good times. Sure. So tell us a bit about that dynamic. So at 18, I packed my bags and I went off to Europe. And I came back and went straight to university and I started working immediately after that. And then in, in the midst of all of this, life happens. And I find myself without savings because I'd taken some of my savings and went overseas to go compete. And needless to say, I win this championship overseas, but you don't win cash. Oh, wow. So I come back home and it's dry. And I had to regroup and, you know, find my strength again. Do you think that that time added character to who you are as a choreographer to your work? Definitely, without doubt. Not only that, but as a human being as well. I think it made me a better artist um, because it made me fearless. I mean, I think it used to be one of my biggest fears to move back home because I felt like I was such a failure. And I think as a result of having lived through it and succeed, succeeded even beyond my wildest imagination. When you're living out there, you're living your dream, it's so easy to sort of stay disconnected with where you come from. So moving back home forced me to really see my community for what it was and see what role I could play. You mentioned being home, but now it's also a very exciting time for sure. you with LA and, yeah, and the festival yeah. coming up that you've been invited to. Tell us a bit about the festival and sure. about the film. So in 2013, um, the production house Cold Stove um, actually officially uh, produced what is Africa, um, Africa's first made for cinema dance film. So we've never really had a film that has been made on dance, like your Step Up, um, that basically was made for cinema as a blockbuster dance focus film and um, the whole of last year we were on the road promoting the film we've been to Cannes, we've been to the UK and this year and now this week actually we're off to LA to promote the film um, at the Pan-African Film Festival and we're excited because as young storytellers um, we feel really passionate about taking our story to the world we think it's about time that we tell our stories ourselves. 